Yo, I'm Josh, what's up? Today I'm gonna be showing you the five essentials that you need to get started today making any type of music that you could imagine. I'm gonna mention some of the specific equipment that I use, but keep in mind that there are a lot of options out there and there's not necessarily one right way to do things. Now the center of your setup is gonna be your computer. I'm personally a Mac guy and this is an iMac 2019, but PC's kinda cool. Stop! I personally would recommend getting as much processing power and as much RAM as your budget allows. Now on your computer, you're gonna be running your Digital Audio Workstation or DAW for short. Your Digital Audio Workstation is the software that you're gonna be using to create and record music. I'm running Ableton 11, but there are a lot of different options out there, including Cubase, FL Studio, you know, these may or may not be frauds and wanna be Ableton's, but you know, whatever you want to choose. Now, if you're just getting started and don't have the budget to purchase Ableton or FL Studio or anything, I am going to leave a free one in the description, so make sure to check that out. Now, just a quick note, I am mentioning all of these things in the order in which I think that you should buy them, so if you can't buy them all right now, don't worry about it. It's okay. Daddy Josh has got you. Next up, you're going to want a dope pair of headphones. Make sure to get the Dr. Dre beats. Actually, just kidding. Don't do that. When you're looking for headphones, what you really are looking for is for them to have a flat frequency response. What this means is that none of the frequencies are exaggerated. This is going to help you get a really clean, solid mix that translates to all scenarios. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a microphone. An audio interface. Look at him just peeking out there. Oh my God. I mentioned these together because you can't really have one without the other. What your audio interface is gonna do is basically gonna be the translator from the microphone to your computer. It's gonna be taking all those delicious vocals that you're recording and making it to where you can actually mess around and manipulate and mix them in your track. So I have a couple different microphones. I first have the SM7B, a little bit cheaper of an option if you don't have the budget. I also have a Neumann TLM 103. Now, I could take this off, but that would be a lot of work and I'm kind of lazy, so just believe me that this is a TLM 103. I wouldn't lie to you. There are so many good microphone options out there right now that you really can't go wrong if, unless you get like a Walmart Xbox headset or something crazy like that. But despite that, I'm still gonna make sure to link a couple in the description. So if you need some guidance, make sure to check it out. Probably goes without saying, but what you're also gonna need the cables to plug all of these things in. So for a microphone, you're gonna need the XLR cable, which looks like this on the female end and then looks like this on the male end. Oh yeah. Now there are a lot of different types of audio interfaces, but I would personally recommend getting a Thunderbolt one or a USB 3.01. This is just the future. They're way faster. You don't want the Firewire. Just trust me on that one. And if you're a guitar player, you want to use a quarter inch cable that looks like this. You're also going to need some microphone accessories. First up is the microphone stand. Now you could use a little boom arm kind of thing like this, or you could go with a more of a traditional kind of microphone stand that you might see at a concert or something like that. Both are good options. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Another thing you need is a pop filter. This is a Chaotica eyeball, which has a built-in one. Most pop filters do not look like this. This is what most pop filters look like. You just really need this because otherwise your vocals are gonna sound like <laughs> One of the last basic things I would recommend getting is a good pair of studio monitors. I would personally recommend the Yamaha HS8, HS6, any of those kind of ones. They're really great. I would save up for a little bit, maybe a month. Put in that OT. No, you got it, son. These aren't essential because you could just mix on headphones, but they definitely help because sometimes mixing in headphones is a little weird. And these allow you to get balances a lot better. All right, I appreciate you guys for coming. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers. You know the deal. If not, I'm still going to be chugging away making these videos. But yeah, y'all go make some dope music. Let me know if you need any help. I'm on Instagram. My DMs are always open. You already know the deal. See y'all soon. Bye.